Welcome back to Rose Education and Zed. Today we're going to be talking about Clover Health once more. Make sure to drop a like to this video to help this channel grow, subscribe, and leave notifications on. Let's jump right into this one. I've broken this video into due diligence and technical analysis. If you'd like to skip towards the due diligence part or technical analysis, please feel free to do so. We're starting off with due diligence to start with. And for this one here, I did cover this one previously in my video. Video link is in the description below, actually. And I went from anywhere between when first the allegations opened up with uh, from Hinderberg Research towards their uh, replyments or response to that and what I think about this. This one here is an extension towards an update. If you don't realize or didn't, didn't watch my previous videos, Clover Health works in a little bit off a Medicare plan with more. They're not really an insurance company, but more off a medical provider, uh, generally speaking, with different privileges. It's a little bit hard to really uh, pinpoint exactly what they are just because they they fall under so many categories, whether maybe a little bit of insurance or something towards uh, coverage plans or Medicare. So to sum it up, Clover Health is Medicare done differently. Clover Health Medicare Advantage plans have all essentials like hospital coverages, doctor visits, and drug coverage Part D, plus no cost extras like vision, dental, hearing coverage. So original Medicare plans, for Part A, you have hospital insurance, which is original Medicare pays 80% off your covered hospital expenses. Your Part B medical insurance, which is our medical care, original medical uh, pays 80% off your coverage doctor expenses. Then you have the private insurance, which is Part C Medicare Advantage, which you can replace the original Medicare with a Part C plan like Clover Health. And Part D, which is original Medicare, doesn't cover most RX drugs, but many Part C plans do. And here comes in Clover Health, which comes in as uh, a replacement for Medicare with more, just to sum it up. You'd have to watch, I think, two videos ago when I did explain this in depth and I went towards their presentation. But just because I do know there is a good following here that have been watching this video multiple times, I'm not going to cover that. In terms of events, they don't have any new events coming up. The last event was uh, for the JP Morgan. That was a little bit a while ago. Um, if you would like to go towards the deep dive presentation you get to see a little bit more about what their perspective is and some of their possible outcomes in the future now the last event was on january 12th for jp morgan i don't see any upcoming events coming up institutional buyers on this one looks like on the 12th of this of uh, february interchange core strategies added around 13,000 shares which is nothing really but here's the interesting thing goldman sachs added around 17,800. yet Take a look at all the other institutional buyers that literally dumped it after the Hindenburg research. They just basically threw out the entire, uh, their entire shares. Uh, Alpine Global Management decreased 82% of their shares. Hudson Bay, I'm not sure exactly what happened here, but this is an update on their position. Goldman Sachs is the only one in the last uh, week or so that actually ended up adding around 20, almost 20,000 shares. So things are looking a little bit interesting onto this one. In terms of insiders, things have been silent in terms of transactions. Now, rec recently, if you do understand, if you uh, recall, I early said in the video, Hinderberg Research came up with a really extensive report about why Clover Health is maybe not the best idea about investing and might have a little bit of speculations regarding negative aspects to it, perhaps even fraud. And following that, following the publications of Hinderberg Research on February 4th, concerning the, the recently completed business and combination of Clover Health, the company received a letter from Security uh, and Exchange Commission, the SEC, indicating that it's conducting an investigation and requesting documents and data preservations for the period from January 1st, 2020 to the present. And they're uh, planning to compl uh, comply with that. And they did actually have a really long and 18 minute read uh, document. I did go through this one in my last video in response to Hinderberg research questions. And I covered that in my previous video. Now, before doing so, and before going to technical analysis, we need to fix this. Subscribed, I only have 15.3% of the people watching me are subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed and been watching me, please make sure to subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. You don't even know. Now, on a, on a technical analysis point of view, as I said, please make sure to subscribe and leave notifications on. It helps my channel a lot. Technical analysis point of view, on a two-hour perspective, things are looking a little bit rough. All the moving averages are bearish. I'm going to zoom in just around here. There we go. You get to see you have a bear trading action zone. 30 EMA is above 10 SMA, and that's not a good thing. You need it to escape the 1242 before it becomes bullish again. MACD looks like there's a bit of a retraction there. Uh, it's actually diving a little bit down. 
The Rillian Percent R is highly oversold, ADX shows in a possibility of a negative trend to continue, and momentum is negative. So things aren't really looking good for Clover Health at the time being on the moving average band. On uh or sorry, on the moving on the moving averages. Moving average band, you get to see this one is expected to trade 1469 at the top, 1335 on the middle, and 1202 in the bottom. The Bollinger bands are 1532 and 1139. So you can expect for it to correct itself, but currently that moving average band is going downwards, and so is the price point with it. Next. The stochastic fast and stochastic slow are both going downwards, and it looks like it's expected to see further of a pullback. Now, we need to look into Fibonacci retracement. Significant support lies at 1130, because that's the last mark that we're seeing on the Fibonacci retracement. Significant resistance, 1261, 1342, 1407, 1473, 1566, and 1685. Before doing so, um, and moving on to what I think about it, Let's take a look into price line actions. A significant resistance lies at 1191. A significant support is probably where it is right now, 1144, 1130. So right now, this might be actually uh, the bottom, but we're going to see if it actually stays there for the next day or two. There's another resistance, 1219. Above there, 1256. Above there, you're looking at 1281. Above there, 1330. Above there, 1387. And then we go a little bit back. You're looking at 1452 and around the 15 bucks now let's try to look if there's any kind of patterns that we can draw uh, unfortunately there isn't i mean this one can be here seen as heads and shoulder uh, in this section here let's take a look into let's say uh 15 minutes try to see if there's any patterns here that we can see intraday no it looks like there was a massive drop all the way to 11 30 or maybe even 11 62 and then it bounced back towards almost normal levels of 13 30, uh, 30 and then starts to bounce down into more of a fear uh, with no news and why is this fear coming out from my opinion my speculations is that this one is probably gonna hit I, I did previously say around 11 but we are around 11 so if you're still believe in clover health i think this one here around 11 to 10 bucks is a good entry first a starter i'm not saying just a starter entry and if it does actually start dropping down even further add a little bit more my expectations is that a lot of this news is probably going to brush off in a couple, two, three months. And if you need to consider whether you're investing or trading, and trading this one is dangerous. You're going to be literally wanting to time the markets. You want to get right exactly where it is at the bottom to where it is at the top. And especially speaking, let's say even if you try to time that market in trading at 1130, uh, and you got that very small dip, you're barely in profit right now. And we're not here to time the market. So... In terms of investment, I still believe in this one. I like the stock, um, but there is a lot of risks. And so a starter is where you take an investment on trading. I would stay away. What do you think about this ticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like it. Have a wonderful day.